Hello and welcome to the Primus Propositions vodcast here the Lion Raw. I'm delighted that this is the first vodcast of 2023 and I'm joined by my esteemed colleague Nikki Hemmings. Hiya Nikki. Hi Matt, thank you for the introduction and welcome everybody to our first vodcast of 2023 as Matt said. Guys, this is a real exciting one. I cannot believe we've got this superstar joining us today. So back in the industry after a little break, we've got Roger Morris from Tandem Bank. Hi, Roger. Hi. Hi, Matt. Hi, Roger. Hi, Nikki. And hi to everybody watching this podcast. And it's great to see that I'm, I'm on the 1st of 2023. How could we have anybody else, Roger? How could we? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're delighted to have you, mate. So um, obviously you're now at Tandem Bank. And, and I guess before we go in to ask you to talk about Tandem, tell us a little bit about you, Roger, although I think everybody knows you clearly. But tell us a bit about you. I think I've got a, a couple of sort of um, claims of, of fame. I think of all your providers, I think I've been maybe the longest connected with that whole DNA. So I, I met and started working with Richard Coulson in 1995. and my love affair with that whole primus sort of ideology and, and, and passion is really in me. And I, I don't think you've got any lender providers more passionate about primus than anyone else. And if any other networker club watches this and say, would you say that about us? They actually know where my love and loyalty lies. So it's just a huge honor. And, and my journey has been an incredible one, but I got this opportunity, um, Matt and Nikki, to do something different to reimagine the way we do mortgages. And, and that's the story I want to tell now and over the next few years. Fantastic, thank you for that. Um, but yeah, so uh, some change there for you then, that's great. Um, so let's go on with the question then, Roger. So obviously, you know, you, you've now gone over to Tandem and as, as you've said, um, when we've spoke previously, new kid on the block. So give us a quick overview of what Tandem offer. So when we look at specialist lending, and if I was to ask a sample of Primus Brothers, one to 100, what do they think when they think specialist? Most would think adverse. So basically, they'll look at people with adverse. So if you've got the high street in the middle, to the left is adverse, and to the right is the super posh. What you've now found is from a people who want 25 grand loan to 5 million, there's a bit of disenfranchisement between the two. So when we look at specialist lending, the way that tandem will come to market isn't by just looking at people with adverse. That's just criteria. Tandem bank looks right across the spectrum. So we're not a specialist lender. We are a bank in our own right that has the ability to do specialism right the way through to your high net worth individuals. So when we when we talk about today, we talk at the moment, we've just got remortgages on offer with tandem specialist, and we will be coming soon with purchases, and we will be relaunching and reimagining our bespoke high net worth proposition, which I think has got some incredible criteria. It sits between your coots and your private banks and the feedback on its development stage, I think, is, is really incredible. And I think the key point I'd like to finish off this first question, Nikki, is when you look at sort of banks that call them specialist, how many of them have a product transfer? Your high street banks do. And that's what defines us is we have a product transfer offering that's available right the way through. And sometimes could be even midway through, Nikki, if, if say someone's done energy efficiency improvements to the property and they would therefore benefit from an A, B or C rating, they could just apply for a new product transfer and we would waive the ERCs and product fee charges to give them the right outcome. However, we are aware as interest rates rise, that might not be suitable until that fixed rate finishes. But the fact that your customers can get product transfers at the end of the term and direct through the broker is a is a really key USP. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of product there, and I think another big message there as well from uh, from Tandem is watch this space with everything that's coming um, yeah. that you mentioned as well. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, I think something that we kind of have to touch on um, when we're speaking to a lender or anybody at the moment is obviously 
it's a topic that's on everybody's tongue is the cost of living crisis. How are tandem um, approaching this? Uh, Nick, you know what? I, I think, Nikki, that's an incredibly mindful question in January because last year your phone wouldn't stop ringing. Your primus brokers was unprecedented levels of business. But this year, it could be that you look at your phone on the corner of your desk and you just check it. You ring your mum just to go, just to make sure it's working because it has changed. Interest rate rises and the cost of living has made the primus broker more valuable than they've ever been. And it's about your contact strategy. So you want to ask yourself right now, how much do you want to earn this year? What do you want to earn? Let's say it's 100 grand. What you now want to look at is what's your percentage of being able to penetration of selling your different product lines, your life, critical illness and your mortgages. So what's your average fee income? From that, you can work out how many remortgages and purchases you need to do in a year and what's your conversion when it comes to first appointment. You then need to start remembering to ask for referrals, Nikki, because it's so important when with a customer and doing a good job, even if you're just reviewing. But customers want to be reviewed more now than ever before. They want you in their lives. So when I hear stories that you need to get back to a customer six or nine months before the fixed rate ends. You should be in front of your customer all the time with a meaningful relationship, being able to understand what they've got. So when we look at the cost of, of living crisis, now more than ever this month, families will sit down and they'll start to review the bank statements. They'll be printed off bank statements and running through everything. Now they might see on those bank statements, a life policy and think, well, I feel all right. I'm not going to die. I'll cancel that life policy. If you're not there to remind and refresh, and let's just say you've got more going out than you've got coming in. As a family, you make that decision. And that's why we've reimagined the remortgage process because you go in now, let's just say Matt comes in, Matt's the advisor and Nikki's the customer. And Matt comes into Nikki and does a full review of, of Nikki's circumstances. Now, Nikki's got more going out, more being paid out every month than she's got coming in. And she's starting to show stress of potentially going to go into arrears on credit cards. She may have had some CCJs or defaults. But the ultimate bit is the fact that Matt can save Nikki £500 a month. You want, once that advice is done, Nikki, if, I could, if Matt could save you £500 a month, you'd want to do it straight away, wouldn't you? You want the saving today. The average remortgage going through a specialist lender is around three months. That's three months that Nikki literally has to try and manage to keep what is a really hard situation. And if she's cancelled your life policy, you've got a claw back. What we're able to do is to be able to refinance the customer in a very short period of time. And what we're able to do on that is by being able to do it quickly, we're able to do it, we think, in about 15 days. So 15 days we're able to do that. And I think we've got further questions on that, Matt and Nikki, in this to explain that a bit more. But I think it's about customer contact is a key bit. Be in front of your customer and make it a meaningful conversation. Absolutely. Love it, Rog. I mean, you sound like Richard Coulson. You're here telling people to do protection, talking about cancelled policies. <clears> Next, <throat> you'll be telling us about doing a proper job. But it's absolutely bang on what you're saying, Rog. And I love that you've got products that sort of tie into that whole theme and culture of Primus. So um, I've had a good read through your USPs. Obviously, you guys have got loads of, you know, weird and wonderful, funky stuff that you're doing. Um, one of the ones that I, I sort of saw that I want to explore a bit more is around loan to value. So I think I read something about, you know, um, higher loan to values if they drop in the ability to debt consolidate. So just talk to us a bit more about that USP and how important you feel that is. Yeah, I think, Matt, you've really uh, phrased that so well, because at the moment, there's this expectation that property prices could redress between five and 20 percent. And it depends on where those properties are located in the country and the overall economy. But we do expect a reduction in the way that valuers will particularly value a property on a remortgage. Because on our remortgage proposition, we'll go to 90% to a loan size of half a million. So if you're familiar 
with the LTVs of specialist lenders, you won't find many that will go to half a million at 90%. And where that gives you some extra comfort, we'll say you're doing a 75% loan and it does have a, should we say, a lower value than the customer expected. There's that extra bit of headroom. I think it's quite important. And I think it's about understanding how that fluidity works, which is why we use an AVM model. So the vast majority of our remortgages that come to us will pass on an AVM. As long as that property has been purchased or refinanced in the last five years at 75%, it won't cost anything. And really also just to tie that valuation or focus point in with Nikki, if you've got a customer that's had to let a life policy or a critical illness policy go, Matt, and Nikki's got more being paid out than she's got in, and let's say she's at the top of a credit card, you ask for £400 for the Valfi in this real world right now today, that's what's stopping the deal going ahead to get your life policy back on, your customer happy, and sort it out within a very short period. And that's why up to property values of 700 grand, we don't charge a val fee. So I think that really ties in with our load of values and our reasons why that we offer that point to customers. And I think it'll go down really well. Agreed, Rog. My next question was actually about AVM. So you've done that one for me. So Nikki, over to you. You can ask about free legals. <laughs> yeah, so obviously with the USPs that you sent over as well. So I read that you offer the lender-only legals on a remortgage. Just tell us a bit more what that means. So even if I was to ask you to, when I say lender-only legals, you normally go, ah, no, not lender-only legals, because the lender's gone out and tried to look at expenditure. They've gone to a massive firm of lawyers and said, if we do a remortgage fees-free deal, would you do this for as cheap as possible? And they'll go, yeah, we'll do it for 100 quid. And we all know that service is bad. And when we did our research and development and we spoke to a number of primus brokers and we asked them, what would you want? And they were saying, Rog, we don't want you to use a factory. We would rather have a cash amount and then we can go to our solicitors. But what I wanted to do was to reimagine this so much more and because our heritage is on second charges, and on second charges, there's no um, solicitor involved to register a charge. So what happens is when the case is offered, and typically we normally offer cases within one and two days, when the case is offered, we will email to your customers. Um, so we, what we'll do is when the case is offered, we will email a document that the customer prints off and signs it's the mortgage deed all right so you would print it off you'd sign it you'd get an independent witness and you'd send it to our um solicitor that deals with purely the lender only due diligence so we, the the client has no legal representation it's the lender who needs to understand if the property is acceptable and security no issues with lease or anything else and then that solicitor simply registers the charge. Now, we'd normally expect that to be no more than two days. So the value of what we're offering here is we issue the mortgage deed. We then, once that deed is going to be registered and we know it's gone back to the solicitor, it's us who pays off the current lender, Barclays, Santander, Halifax, doesn't matter. In fact, we've even got those lenders coming back now saying, who are you? You're not a solicitor. Um, you're a lender. What's going on? He is a fraud. Well, when you actually understand it, people take money to, to do fraud. They don't pass money to the lender. And when the lender understands, it's actually a new way of speeding up the process. So we will pay off that charge. And what we also do on a sensible refinance of debt con consolidation in this example, we pay off all of Nikki's unsecured debt on dear completion and not charge the, the 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 electronic fees of sending that money to Bartley card or or wherever you've you've got your debt you know your lombard we will do that on completion so we pay off all the unsecured we redeem the existing lender we do all the paperwork the customer owns the property so they don't need legal advice the only time there's an extra charge is if you've got to vary the equity split or you've got to remove a person or add a person there is a cost then but on most remortgages we feel from offer to completion if we've got a settlement figure we could do in 
three days, maybe four days. So that allows you to get up. So if you think maybe two days from dip to app to offer and potentially three days on the other side, you, you could have that shortened time frame and no cost to the customer is, is a powerful thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what 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 a selling point, what a service to the client and, and what a time saver that all does as well. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, you also mentioned as well, which I've read, um, the, uh, the the fair view credit assessment. What's this? When we, a lot of the feedback I've had over the last 15 years from advisors, but particularly within the Primus Home of Choice Network, and it was about, you do a decision with a lender, you, you obtain a credit report from Equifax or Experian, for example, and you think you know, you're reading this report now, you think you know exactly what problem the customer has got, okay? Goes into the lender, and then the lender says, Mm, there's something else in the background, but we can't tell you what that is. First of all, how does that work? The client has said, release all information to the advisor. And the lender's saying, there's something I can't tell you. And that happens so often. So the first thing we do on decision in principle, a copy of the credit file that we need to make that decision, we give you a copy of our credit file. And I think in that sense, it's brilliant. Next, when lenders look at adverse, whether it be CCJs, defaults, payment profiles, they might look at 60 months, they might look at 36 months, and some look at 24. But what we're saying is if we issue you now a legal binding mortgage offer, by the time you complete on a purchase, which is ultimately what we're moving into, it's normally at least two months before that purchase occurs. So that adverse, in effect, is two years old when we actually have that money lent to you as a customer. So the reason we did the 22 months is because of that reason and also to give you the credit file. And I don't know of another lender, another bank that has that specialist lending within the bank that gives you the edge, which is the facts, the criteria, and the, the chances to, to help the customer. I don't, I don't think I do either, Roger, to be honest. So that's great. Good. Um, in terms of fees then, how would a tandem charge fees? What Tell us about that. So we don't charge, unless the property is over 700 grand, we don't charge an application fee, no valuation fee, and we'll either do an AVM or a free physical. So I think there's the first one. The next one is, let's just say you've done a load of work, a load of research, and you want to charge a broker fee. Now, you're going to charge Nikki a fee of £500, Matt, on this case, because you want to give her the advice. That's going to be added to the loan. We will accept that up front without it being hidden in capital raising, okay? And when that goes on the loan, in effect, Nikki's going to be paying interest on your fee. So that doesn't sit right. And the other thing, we're going to charge a lender fee. It's, it's not large, and it's, it's a fixed amount. And that's added to the loan. Now, is it right you charge a fee on a fee? <laughs> because a lender fee being added to the loan is a fee, and then you're going to charge interest on that fee. So what we decided that we will add above our max LTVs, a broker fee and a lender fee, and we won't charge interest on it. And I think those combinations together are really good. I think you can she consumer duty will be loving you for that statement mate to be fair so that's good thanks matt perfect um i guess my last question so and i've seen you do a bit on linkedin around epcs um, and i know you're, you're interested in making things better uh, in that regard i think you do some discounts don't you in your usps so tell us a bit more on that one so if you've got a customer let's let's take a customer where we are changing the world where it is more of a true green product so, for instance, we've just done a refinance with Nikki, okay? And Nikki suddenly thinks, I want to make, because she got a bit more cash, Nikki. Let's say you go and you want to put um, solar panels and an air source heat pump. Now, Allium, which is a division within Tandem Bank, they work with the likes of British Gas Safe Style Windows and most of the UK's largest um, solar power and air source heat pumps, and they will offer um, interest-free credit you've heard of that well that's us who offers that so one you might just 
Nikki decide to go and get industry credit and improve the property of your the, the EPC of your property. And then you can ring us up and we will give you either a 10 basis point reduction for C, 20 for B, and 30 for A. Or six months into the loan, Nikki rings us or rings you, Matt, and says, Look, I've done EPC improvements on my credit card and I wouldn't mind. I've spent 30 grand. Could I get a further advance? The Primus broker will be able to go to our website, put in for a further advance, and we would then, you give us the information, we give the advice, Nikki gets um, a, a further advance and an EPC reduction, or in effect, we could have offered Nikki uh, a product transfer if she says, I don't want a further advance, I'm happy with the loan I've got, but I would like to vary the rate I'm on. So we, there's no other bank that I know that invests in renewable has green products and that will allow you to move products waiving ERCs and product transfer fees to do the right thing. And I think that builds in that um, the S yes side of ESG, which is the social side about where we're making a difference. It's one of those, one of those situations, Matt. Yeah, sure. But yeah, Raj, you've got loads to talk about, haven't you, with Tandem? <laughs> I think we could be here all day, realistically, but you know, great stuff. Um, I guess, you know, it, in summary, I know our brokers are going to want you in front of them and or Richard in front of them. So if someone's watching this back and they haven't reached out to you guys yet, and I know a lot have, and you've had a great number of registrations, but there'll still be some brokers who haven't done that. So how do they get in touch and learn more? Yeah, so one, if you haven't registered, go to Tandem at Intermediaries, Tandem Intermediaries, type in the Google, it'll bring you to our designated uh, broker page and the biggest button is how to register and go on then and share your marketing preferences so we can email you and keep you up to date or and apart from doing that the other option is on the website it lists all our details mine Richard David and, and Mark's and what I did find um, Matt was when we launched with Primus on LinkedIn I got um, 18 requests from 18 different businesses for me to jump on and do a half an hour, an hour quick webinar just to explain how we work. And so for that's going really well. And it's literally where you've got a Teams meeting and you want me to come on 20 minutes and, and I'll literally jump on if I've got time, mm -hmm. as will Richard, as will Mark and as will David. And the team there is just there to give you that help and that familiarity and that understanding. Or there is a number where you can just ring and it's on the website and that number you can call and the team will happily guide you through your first ever case with us. And hopefully that won't be too far off. Perfect. So anyone watching back, please absolutely do that. Roger, we'll be seeing you guys at Primus Live on the 9th of March, won't we as well? That is absolutely. I'll be there on the 8th. And I believe we're bringing our, uh, our, our bus as well. So you certainly won't miss us inside. But I don't think there's any event on this year that you do not want to not be attending because the um, this this will be the best that Primus has ever done. And the ability to bring everyone together in such a large and fluid space to be able to really understand what will give you the edge this year, what will make that bit of difference, then that in Telford is, is the place to come. So make sure you have that in your diaries and come and see me on the stand. You certainly won't miss the bus, Matt. I cannot wait to see thousands of selfies all over LinkedIn with you in the van and a broker next to you, mate. I'll be first in the queue for that as well. Good. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Roger, it's been absolutely fantastic to have you on. So um, as I say, anybody watching back, get in touch with Roger and the team and please let Tandem come and see you and do some business for you. So cheers, Roger, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Roger. Take care. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye.